let us discuss about improvement in crop yield improvement in crop yield crops are the plants grown on a larger land area to provide food for the growing population to improve the yield of crops one should have a proper understanding of the factors that affect the growth of crops the crops are grown depending upon the reason what are the common crops in india cereals wheat maize millet and rice are the commonest one they provide as which our daily dose for carbohydrate and energy to provide human body the various techniques of crop improvement first one higher yield you can achieve a higher yield of crops by developing high yielding variety of crops this can be done by the process of hybridization and cross breeding second one better quality there are different reasons for improve the quality to different crops such as improvement of the packing quality in cereals like wheat on the other hand pulses need to have better protein quality next one biotic and abiotic resistance we should develop crops that are resistant to biotic stresses like insect and diseases and abiotic stresses like heat salinity and cold this can be significantly improve the crop production in the country various desirable agronic traits higher production can be achieved by developing such varieties of crop that contain a desirable agronic traits to sustain the variety various traits during the production process next one better and wider adaptability to the crops by developing crops with better adaptability to changing climate and nutritional condition we can stabilize the crop production this leading to higher yield in crop each year next one easier to adapt to changing climatic condition we must concentrate on producing the varieties that are easier to adapt to the new and changing climate conditions easily this is one great way to improve the crop yield next one how to improve the crop yield there are three types crop variety improvement crop production management and nutrient management crop variety improvement in this tech new what we mean to combination to desirable characters from many crops into a single hybrid crop the next step would be multiplying it this method called for the plant breeder to select the desirable characteristic and across them so that the offspring has the best of both world why is there is a need for high higher crop yield with rising population to livestock and demand for the food and fodder has been increasing like never before along with that there is a rise in the standard of living and people have become more conscious about their health this has led an increase in the demand for good quality product it becomes necessary to increase the crop variety to produce increase resistant offspring of the crops it also help in providing better and superior varieties based on the quality and quantity of the yield next one crop production management the more the input the higher yield accordingly there are three types of crop production management first one no cost low cost and high cost production practices in this uh, based on the size from the farms a different farmer have be different amount of money information and technology to develop the crops nutrient management this is an important part of improving the crop yield plants to need in organic elements of their growth many macro and micro nutrients are important for the plants to build their structure and maintain their metabolism there are 16 types of nutrients that are required by the plants which are subdivided into two categories first one macro nutrients second one micro nutrients macro nutrients that means these are the essential elements that are required in relatively in large quantities of the plants example carbon oxygen hydrogen and nitrogen 
micronutrients these are necessary for the plants in small quantities example magnesium iron boron and zinc thank you